Morning, everyone. It's John David here with you again on another wonderful adventure into life in the Midwest. In the Midwest! Tabby had to go to work early uh, due to she just picked up some more hours. Um, which is... it's really nice because, um, I mean, we want to show like the people that we work for that we're there for them. And, you know, we want to show the, um, the clients that we work with that, you know, we we like spending time with them and we care about them too because when when you're living that life, it can sometimes get overwhelming and seem like no one's really on your side kind of thing. And so any kind of help, any kind of work we can do towards uh, that end of showing love to our our clients is is a big deal. I'm probably gonna just chill with Niles. I've got cleaning to do and our regular weekend stuff to get ready for the weekend. Lick in the envelope. Mm, 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 mm. Don't want you see my parents' address. So if there's any creepers watching right now, they won't go and murder the faces. I don't really think that will happen, but I'm not sure, so I better be safe. Gonna take my mom's mother the car to the mailbox down the street. And then I'm probably gonna go to the bread store and buy some pasta so I can eat. Hey, that rhymed. Why are my keys on the ground? I have no idea. Why am I crazily singing all this stuff to you? Because you're the internet. Check out my deliciousness. I made it in the blender. Four Roma tomatoes, two cloves of garlic, uh, oregano, uh, pepper, uh, salt, uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, olive oil. Now I'm going to cut up some broccoli and zucchini and some. Uh, Onion. That got a little out of hand. I apologize for that. Cats just cats get just as excited about walks as dogs. They just show it in different ways. Yes, I know. Look at the sunbeams. Get them. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother holding onto your leash. I know you won't go anywhere. He just wants to eat grass and be in the sunshine. It's so adorable. Well, it is my Friday, so it's your Monday. And um, I'll do a little bit of Married Life Mondays for you. Um, today I want to tell, talk to you about being direct and saying what you mean you know, sometimes we, we just try to drop hints, and for whatever reason, I mean, some kind of, sometimes it's subliminal, or subliminal, subconscious that we're doing this, but, um, you know, sometimes we just want the other person to kind of figure out what we're needing or wanting through hints, we're dropping hints, and, and we just try to assume things, and uh, you know what, the best, the best way to tell your significant other um, what what you're needing or wanting is just to tell them. Um, when Tabby and I first met over the phone, you know, I, we had lots of conversations and I told her, I said, guys need direct input. We don't do hints well. And it's not, it's not really fair to expect a guy to, to pick up on those hints because guys, we tend to see the world in a different way than women do. And that's not sexist, it's just science. It's just where, how we're chemically made up. And um, there's nothing wrong with it. If we weren't different, then it wouldn't work. The whole relationship would not, would not work. So we need to be a little different. 
and we need to be um, anyway that's uh, today's married life Monday is just uh, say what you mean say what you need to say and don't forget to just just be understanding of your of your significant other um, yeah all right well that's married life Mondays for you AJ the weekend cat hi JJ the weekend cat Oh, you're such a good kitty. Kitty attack. Kitty belly attack. Don't... He's not making eye contact with me. Why aren't you making eye contact with me? <laughs> He's totally a jerk. JJ, are you a jerk? Yes? He's a jerk. He's a jerk. JJ, are you a jerk? Yes, yes. Hey guys, I'm at work. Um... I just I had some good news. I called the car repair place. It's actually Mama Nita's car repair place. She takes her van there all the time. And um, I was uh, kind of stressing out about the CV boot. And apparently I dropped laundry all over the ground. Um, the CV boot thingy for my car. I was worried about it, but um, I called the mechanic and her mechanic and they gave me a really sweet deal and so it's gonna be way cheaper. It was gonna be like 430 something dollars to repair at this other place but um, Taylor's, Taylor's Auto, All Auto Care, something like that, they're gonna do it for 145 plus tax. So pretty good deal. Um, I'm excited because it'll mean my car won't explode and it'll be one thing that's kind of repaired on it. There's some been some things going wrong with it lately, and and I just kind of started to get discouraged because I don't know. It's the nicest car I've ever owned, and I want it to be nice. And I kind of have a thing about that. I'm developing this thing where I want to make it nice and keep it nice for as long as possible. And I've never really had that kind of a pride in my vehicle before, so I'm trying to take pride in it and respect it because it is very nice and it's, it's good to have a car. I mean, a lot of people don't have cars, so... <sighs> anyway, well, that's my story. Hey, guys. Um, it's the end of the day. It's dark outside. I'm in my work room, and I'm just going to go ahead and say goodnight and goodbye. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. Please check back, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Talk to you later. Bye. Get married with the head I